Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials. My name is Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the PERT analysis. What is a PERT analysis? PERT stands for Program, Evaluation, and Review Technique. A PERT analysis is a method used to examine the tasks in a schedule and determine a critical path method variation. It analyzes the time required to complete each task and its associated dependencies to determine the minimum time to complete a project. The PERT analysis informs program managers and project personnel the estimated amount of time required to complete tasks on a project. By utilizing this information, a program manager will be able to estimate the minimum amount of time required to complete the entire project. This helps in the creation of more realistic schedules and cost estimates. How do you conduct a PERT analysis? There are two main steps associated with conducting a PERT analysis. Step 1. You need to take three time estimates for every task along the critical path. These three estimates are based on optimistic, pessimistic and most likely time to complete the task. Optimistic time, the minimum possible time required to accomplish a task, assuming everything proceeds better than is normally expected. Pessimistic time, the maximum possible time required to accomplish a task, assuming everything goes wrong, excluding major catastrophes. Most likely time, the best estimate of the time required to accomplish a task, assuming everything proceeds as normal. The second step is where you take each of those estimates and you plug them into the PERT formula. The formula is, P plus 4M plus O slash 6. The result from the formula will be your minimum time to complete a project. This slide shows an example of a PERT analysis. Step 1, develop three different estimates for optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic, for each task. You can see these estimates inputted into a chart for tasks, A, B, C, and D. There are four tasks on the critical path on this project. Once these estimates are developed, you can go to Step 2, where you add the total estimate for optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic, to the PERT formula. The formula will then calculate the minimum time required for the project. The minimum time for this project is 14 weeks. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using a PERT analysis? Understanding these advantages and disadvantages will give program managers and project personnel a better understanding of the realities of their schedules. It takes an experienced program manager to truly utilize the benefits of what a PERT analysis can provide a project team. Advantages, provides program managers information to evaluate time and resources on a project. It helps give them the necessary information to make informed decisions and set a realistic schedule. Disadvantages, the analysis can be highly subjective and be influenced a few outspoken team members. It also required a lot of time to continually update the analysis as a program progresses. What are the differences between the critical path method and PERT analysis? Although the critical path method and PERT are conceptually similar, some significant differences exist, mostly due to the type of projects best suited for each technique. PERT is better to use when there is much uncertainty and when control over time outweighs control over costs. PERT handles uncertainty of the time required to complete an activity by developing three estimates and then computing an expected time using the beta distribution. The critical path method is better suited for well-defined projects and activities with little uncertainty, where accurate time and resource estimates can be made. The percentage of completion of the activity then can be determined. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on PERT analysis. Please visit the webpage for more information. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.